As the saying goes, the best way to learn is to do, and that goes doubly so for math. So what we're going to do in this video is set up a sample section, set up a sample field, and put some crops in it, and figure out what our yield is going to be from that section, from that crop. And I've sort of put together my own little uh, uh, spreadsheet, kept doing the calculations and figuring out uh, exactly you know, what I'm going to be planting, how many rows of each, and what the yield is, is supposed to be per foot. Right? So basically we're going to set up the sample section right here and go through uh, the main columns anyway and do the calculations and figure out what our total yield is going to be. Okay, so we've set up our sample section, which is what we had before. Obviously, this is not to scale, right? So we have 10 different beds. Each bed is about 5 feet wide, right? And 60 feet long. And the whole dimensions of that thing is 70 feet by 60 feet. And again, not to scale. So what we're going to do in the first bed, we're going to plant one bed of broccoli. So in the first bed, we're planting broccoli. And broccoli, the yield for it is 0 0.67 heads per foot, right? And we can put in two rows per bed. Okay, so we're going to have two rows of bro broccoli and our yield is 0 0.67 heads per foot. In the second bed, we're going to plant kale. And the units for kale, um, we get one bunch per foot and we can put in three rows per bed. In the next two bed, in bed number three and bed number four, we're going to plant arugula. And for arugula, the units are, you get, you measure it in ounces per foot and you get four ounces for every foot of row that you plant for arugula and you can plant five rows per bed okay so if we're planting two beds of arugula we're going to get a total of 10 rows right because we can put five in each bed in bed number five six and seven we're going to plant spinach because we like spinach right and the specs for spinach are you get again four ounces per foot and you can plant five rows per bed. So if we're planting three beds of spinach, we're going to get a total of 15 rows of spinach, right? Now what we want to do for the next three beds, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're not going to do complete beds because let's say we want to grow beans and we want to grow five rows of beans. The specs for beans is that you can only put three rows per bed. So what we're going to do is use bed number eight and two thirds of bed number nine to grow beans because we can put three rows we can put three rows here and two rows here and that takes up two thirds because if you can put three in one it's two thirds of this bed so we're going to grow five rows of beans and the specs for beans is you get 0.55 pounds per foot now the last thing that we're going to plant we're going to plant green onions in bed number 10 and a third whatever is left of bed number nine and for green onions the spec says you can put six rows into one bed so if we got a third of bed number th uh, number nine left that means we can put another two rows in bed number nine so we're going to get a total of eight rows so we're going to plant eight rows of uh, green onions and the specs for onions uh, your yield is you get two bunches per foot so right now, this is our section that we've planted and uh, our, basically our field that we planted and we have to figure out what the yield of the stuff is going to be, right? And to figure out the yield, all our specs that we've been given are whatever the units are per foot. So what we have to do is figure out what the total row length, uh, how many row feet of crop we have for each one and just multiply that by the specs for the yield right and to figure out how many what the total length of crop we have for each one total row foot of crop that we have all we got to do is multiply the total rows over here by the length of of the section that we've created right and the length of the section is 60 feet so all we're going to do is go 60 times 2 is going to give us 120 total row feet of broccoli so the total length total row feet of crop that we have is 120 feet of broccoli 180 feet of kale 600 feet of arugula 900 feet of spinach 300 feet of beans and 480 feet of green onions and all we did the way we figured that out we took the rows and multiplied it by the length of each row right now for us to calculate the yield the total yield that we have all we got to do is multiply the total row feet we have with 
the specs were given of what the yield is going to be per crop. So it's just going to be 120 for broccoli, it's going to be 120 times 0.67 heads per foot, and that's going to give us about 80 heads uh, of total yield we're going to get from this field for broccoli. And we'll just continue with that, right? So we're going to go 180 times one bunch per foot. For kale, we're going to get 180 bunches of kales. We got 2,400 ounces of arugula. We got 3,600 ounces of spinach. We got 165 pounds of beans. And we got 960 bunches of green onions, okay? And this is just a simple little spreadsheet that we've set up was just one set of calculations we can end up doing when we're farming right for us to figure out what our yields going to be for a specific section and this is something that's done automatically once you learn how to use a spreadsheet this is something that you can just set up and the spreadsheet just does it right you put in formulas per cell and it just goes through and you know you put in your specs and it does all the calculations and gives you a total yield, right? What we're gonna do in the next problem is we're gonna come up with a menu, just like Marvin and Vanessa did, right? So we're gonna come up with a menu of certain crops that we want and the quantity of those crops, and we're gonna reverse calculate this and figure out what our section is going to look like, right? So we're gonna basically figure out how many row feet of each crop we need to be able to provide the food that we're gonna provide in our menu, right? To provide what it is that we're gonna be producing and what we've told people that we want.